So hi back again and today I wanted to talk a little bit about is it wrong to pick up Girls in the Dungeon Battle Chronicle release for PlayStation because oh my god uh, this has uh, not been an enjoyable experience I loved the anime the first season was fantastic uh, so we're going to get into it kind of show you some of the issues uh, the first thing we're going to do is level up a character and see, show, so I can show you the glitch that happens every time you level up a character in this game. I guess we'll level up her. Click on this. Come on, auto select. Use. Press X. When I any every time you try and go to back out the screen, the game crashes. Literally every fucking time. Um, so it, it, it's been a pain in the ass to play this game. Um, we'll take a look at the combat and stuff like that. Uh, the system itself is pretty pretty bad. Um, so. You have main attackers, uh, defensive characters, healers, uh, and that's how you pretty much run it. Um, but if your battle power is high enough, you don't even have to do any of that. All you have to do is just go in and destroy everything because your attack power is so high. But we're going to go ahead and do a quest real quick just to kind of show you. Um, We'll go to this battle eight that I've already completed. Now I've only started playing this, but I, I'm just—it's it, it, been painful. Um, the combat is atrocious. They don't have a lock on. Why would you have a lock on in a game, a, a 3D attacking game? I know it's like a hack and slash, but I mean against like bigger bigger enemies and stuff, being able to dodge, you know, the guys from the side, you literally just do this. Build up your bars. And if your attack's high enough, you can just pretty much kill everything in one or two hits. Um, not really a fun system. You have you have a couple skills that you unlock. Um, and an ultimate attack. And you can switch between your characters and such. They do have some of the, you know, skills that the characters actually use in the anime. Uh, this right there, Aiza's thing, uh, is just broken. Um, and then, and summon spells, watch this. 3,900, that is ridiculous. I mean, there's no challenge to the game whatsoever unless your battle power is super low compared to, you know, any of the guys you're fighting. Um, but all you have to do is just level up your stuff, and you get so much free stuff from playing through each board that you don't even need to, like, you know, use any of that stuff, or you, you're never going to run out, honestly, until, like, late game. But I, I'm, I'm very disappointed in this game. I was really hoping it would be something cool, um, but the, uh, you know, stages are really just, you know, kill mobs, and it's usually only small mobs, usually three fights. Um, I honestly thought the, uh, side-scrolling, uh, battle, uh, game that was out for this, uh, same anime was much better. Um, this seem this seems just really, really bad, uh, in my opinion. Um... And I advise you not to play it. Uh, there's a lot of glitches. The UI is really touchy. Like trying to go through. You have to like double, triple click on stuff. Just to unlock stuff. And then you have to like do story quests for each character. Which is... It doesn't build on, you know, like the development of anything. It just goes through the story of the anime. And most of it's just text. And then fan service of... Uh, Whatever her name was, the goddess there. Estia. Yeah, she just leans over, shows her hooters. That's the fucking game. Um, 
pretty much. It seems like a fan service game with just subpar combat. Um, I honestly don't, unless you really love the anime, or if you played, you know, on, you know, mobile. Uh, they should have just kept this game on mobile. It's, uh, it's not anywhere near Genshin or, you know, even, you know, Tower of Fantasy. Um, I think in content-wise and, you know, appeal. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and hope to see you again on the channel. Bye.